Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. I hope you're all well and staying safe. I've had another request um, from a subscriber, this time to tie any merger. So that's what we're going to do today and uh, I'll give you the materials as we go along. Uh, in the hook, uh, no I don't, in the vise, I have a size 16 curved hook. I'm going to mount some light brown thread. I'm going to start it just behind the eye, about two mil behind the eye, and wind it back. Down almost to the start of the curve. Now for the um, the shuck of the emerger I'm going to use some pieces of uh, CDC. Not many, just a few pieces just to give the illusion of the shuck. I'll tie those in. And wind around the bend and trim those off. Right, now, the body of the um, emerger is going to be some yellow olive quill, uh, which I have dyed, and I'll just tie that in. and wind the thread up the hook to the thorax area. I'm going to put a half hitch in there just to keep it in place. Right, and to wind on the quill I'm going to put a little bit of super glue across the top just to keep it in place. Don't need a lot. And wind this on. It's a slow process, but uh, try and keep it to touching turns. Keep winding up to the thorax area and tie it off. And trim off the butt and tidy up. I'm going to put the hook a little bit straighter into the vise now, so I can work on the, the other end as it were. Now I'm going to put a very very thin coat of UV onto this just to give it a bit of further protection, but it is just a smear. It is not a coating per se. You don't want to uh, put too much on and if you have thin UV, even better. And it's just across the top there. I'll give that a zap. Right now, for the thorax cover, I'm going to use some uh, brown foam. Uh, you don't need a lot, just a slither really. So I cut a, a small piece off. And I'm just going to trim up an edge and tie it in. Now this uh, has two purposes. One, 
obviously is going to create the thorax cover and separate the, the wing, but it will also give it a little bit of extra flotation. Um, as you have seen, we've added a bit of weight, as little as it is, from the, uh, the UV. Right, for the, uh, for the wings, I'm going to use CDC. Now, these are natural CDC feathers. Uh, not dyed. So I'm going to get rid of all this fluff at the bottom, all these extra fibres. They're a bit soft. Okay, uh, get the points together and I'm going to pull back the longer fibres because it's those that we're going to use for the for the wings. So having pulled those back, I'm going to cut out those points. Hang on to the, uh, the stems and pull the, the fibres forward. And that's what we're going to tie in. and trim off the butts. And tidy up. Now for the thorax, I'm going to use some uh, olive hairs here, and it's got the addition of um, some spectra number 31, which is a, a yellow olive spectra dubbing. Right, so see that we have sufficient. Yeah, I think that will do. Off that extra. Right now we have to separate the wing. It won't be spent as such, but it will push the uh, the wings back, as if the fly was just emerging. And tie that down. And trim off. And tidy up. Right now I'm going to uh, put a little bit of super glue on the thread. And I'm going to use a half hitch tool to uh, finish off. And trim up. Now the wings will be uh, pointing backwards because that's what they're supposed to do. So if they were just coming out of the out of the water, so I'll just trim those up. And let's have a look at the profile of that. And I'm also going to pick out some of the thorax here. You can see there's a, a little bit of glitter there, just to uh, keep it interesting for the fish. Right. I'm going to trim up the shark. Just do it with a finger now. Don't want it too long. Will be sufficient. And 
And there you have a simple olive emerger with a yellow olive quill body. Now this particular fly is very, very good for early season. And I'm talking early season, March and April. If there is a hatch, which there can be at that time of the year, if there is a decent hatch, put this fly on, give it a go, and it's very difficult for them to refuse it. It's a super little fly. You'll need to put some sort of floatant probably underneath here on the, on the thorax, uh, on the legs per se. Don't put it on the um, CDC. And of course the, the foam thorax cover will help with the, uh, with the flotation as well. Just gonna trim up a little bit of the back there. A superfly, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you are not already a subscriber, please consider being a fan. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.